and Resound makes a product called the Vivia. This little guy, I think what makes it stand out is you've got a lot of hearing device, a lot of technology packed into a very small package. Mm -hmm. And people that want a really small, very, very discreet device, um, they, usually, they usually go with this product. One of the things they're proud of is they have this little filter system on top that covers the microphones. And so if a, a microphone becomes kind of compromised or maybe it's not sounding quite right, individuals know they can just take out the old filter, put in a new filter, and it frees up the microphone and it allows it to sound wonderful. These devices across the board are all uh, waterproof. They have a level eight rating, so dust and water. Which is, which is phenomenal, but this is another one of those uh, products that has the, the deep neural network, it has the artificial intelligence to help with speech and noise, but this one's a little different. It's another dual chip. N another dual chip. But there and, are some differences And for to sure. access it, there's no automatic function with the dual chip. And so if you want to access that dual chip with the deep neural network and, and making sure that you're tapping into the very best speech and noise ability, you simply either push the button on the back or you can do it from your cell phone and you can change to that second program. And once you enter into that second program, it's kind of a specialist for speech and noise. The nice thing about the Resound device is that the patient can choose. I want to go into AI mode right now. You're in control of it. You're not at the mercy of the device to, right. to decide for you when it should kick over to AI. You can just choose it. I've stressed it quite a bit. I've tried to use it in AI mode. I've found that when they're brand new, they'll go about eight hours in AI mode. That's a, most of the day. Mm -hmm. You can actually leave it in the AI mode most of the day, but you can't go all day in the AI mode. But you're in control. As the patient, you get to choose when it's in it, when it's out. When people wear the device, they, they do feel like there's an edginess to it. It feels like it's kind of a clarity buster. So if you're seeking clarity, you're seeking speech clarity and you want the highest level without any squawk or feedback, things like that, um, Resound does a very, very good job of just saying, we're going to be the best hearing device. We're going to sound the very best in these difficult environments. So some individuals and the way they process speech in their brain, they much prefer Resound because of the way it sounds. It's a very clean sounding device. It's a hearing device that's very, very sharp as far as the speech clarity that can be derived from that little, little device. One thing I really like about Resound as well is they're the only device right now that has the AuraCast, kind, mm. of a, kind of a new technology that's replacing traditional Bluetooth. So it's a form of Bluetooth called AuraCast. And we're going to see it probably come into all of the manufacturers. We're going to see it come out in, in all the new TVs we buy and the new microphones, the new cell phones. We're going to see AuraCast become a buzzword because it is a better signal than traditional Bluetooth. It's a little richer, it's a little bigger, a little thicker, has a better broadband um, spectrum for it. And so when we listen to this device and it's coupled with say t TV adapters or, or different things that help enhance a signal, the, the Resound device really sticks out right now because it gives us the very best TV to end user experience. In other words, the individuals can get a, an exceptional speech signal from the TV when they're watching those dynamic shows and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you'll hear it called LE Bluetooth audio. Mm -hmm. LE Bluetooth audio is, 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 is the type of Bluetooth that they're starting to that use. Low energy. The yeah. AuraCast is kind of the term they're using for a public Bluetooth stream, right. which is a unique idea. It's a fun idea. It's the idea that you can broadcast a Bluetooth stream, but lots of people can tap into it simultaneously. Yeah. That, and you'll start seeing a little symbol for AuraCast. It's a funny looking A with some little lines around it. But this AuraCast is coming and Resound was the very first one to jump on this right. LE Bluetooth audio, to jump on this AuraCast public Bluetooth streaming idea. And that's, that's a really cool thing that Resound's doing. We found that with the, uh, with the Resound hearing device, if an individual has unique anatomy, maybe their canals are super small or really bendy, maybe they just have a, a wax accumulation issue going on where they just, as, as the individual is going from their 50s to their 60s, they're starting to notice I'm accumulating more wax. Resound has a really, really nice fix for that as far as making sure sound is audible, sound is getting to the eardrum. They make some specialized tips that have a specialized filter that's really built for wax. And also these specialized tips that we custom make that we can do for any company 
We really like resounds because they're, the, they're very, very small and they also have the very best wax um, management system, the ability to just keep wax out so that sound can come clearly rolling right to the eardrum. So I, I like that feature as well as the ability to customize kind of the anatomy part that goes in the ear canal. It's kind of a nice feature for a resound. I agree. We probably use custom ear molds more than some other clinics. That's right. We like custom ear molds for many of our patients. It depends on the individual, obviously, yeah. and, and their hearing loss and so forth. But, but resound does a uniquely good, small little earbud that can be custom made to the patient's ear. Okay, everybody, we so appreciate you watching the video today. If you've liked what you've seen, Please like it, subscribe to our channel. It means the world to us, but it also means the world to other people who are trying to figure out what's going on with their hearing health. So thank you for watching.